Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing a review on Tom and Jerry, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now, what can I say about this movie? It feels like a poor man's fan fiction. It's like saying, have Tom and Jerry in the world of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And in this, they kind of act as kind of like helping hands and helping Charlie deal with his problems and that. Now, to me, this was no need to make an animated film of this. I do believe that this film was done as a cash into the actor who played Willy Wonka when he, when he died recently. <laughs> now, what's interesting is that the humour isn't at all great. And it feels really terribly done. Now, other interesting facts is that there is a lot of familiar voice cast that I'm familiar with. For example, the voice of Goku from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT voices Veruca's father, Mr. Salt. Also, the person who voices Charlie's mother, Kate Higgins. And also Jess Hamill, the voice for Iron Hyde in the Transformers movie, and Cedric from Sophia the First as Grandpa Joe. The problem is, most of the characters who have certain parts are either downplayed or changed certainly. For example, we don't see any reaction with the other grandparents, and we don't, and there are certain scenes that were either touched, altered, and altered in a way. For example, the scary tunnel is changed slightly, so instead of things like chickens getting their heads cut off, bugs crawling on people's faces, it's changed to things like bees, robots, and stuff. I get it, it had to have been toned down, but it felt really poorly conceived. And the idea of having Slugworth, who is kind of like the main villain, in a way, but the problem is, he ends up singing one of Veruca Salt's songs, even though he shouldn't be. And the problem with the with the idea of him being revealed to be just a guy working for Wonka is a dumb idea. Because in the film, he acted totally evil 24-7. Now, I do believe that, that he purposely did it to try and not, not throw off any suspicion. <laughs> Now, there are moments where the animation would have bad moments, or moments freeze frame. And a lot of people on Facebook have either done memes, jokes, and parodies about it. Now, I know that people like Jamboriki, also Nostalgia Critic, has actually reviewed this film. Now, also, I felt the idea of Tuffy being a Oompa Loompa felt a bit wasted. Because it's trying to have him become an Oompa Loompa, even though it's a bit of a dumb idea. And the Oompa Loompas in this look a lot more cartoonish. So I get it that sometimes with Tom and Jerry films, they're not going to be as great as what they should be. And there are some wasted potential in this. Now, other interesting facts about Tom and Jerry, Woo Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, in my opinion... It's a wasted potential. It would have been better if they removed Tom and Jerry and just did an animated film on Char and the Chocolate Factory. It would have saved a lot of trouble. Now, to me, was the film good or bad? It's kind of alright, but to me, it could have been a lot better had there have been better writers. So I give it a thumbs in the middle. It's kind of alright. But to me, it was just a wasted opportunity. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.